everyone Shea Bear 1000 here today we're gonna make up some new cables get these old nasty ends off of the golf cart cables themselves not bad but they ain't great but we're gonna try to make some up I'm gonna solder these in here if I've got enough solder uh, if not then I'll have to start crimping them if it comes to that I'll show you how I crimp these without a crimping tool and then we're gonna put our sleeves shrink sleeves on them so first I got all my stuff out here I got to measure each one like I know where this one goes so that way that I've got enough cable to go from one to the other so um, let's go ahead and get started on this Okay guys, so what I'm going to try to do, so I'm going to try to heat this up, and I'm going to try to put a little bit of solder down in there, then we'll stick this in, add some more solder if we need to. So, let's go ahead. Torch is going to be a little loud, sorry for that. in there I'm getting very low on propane might run out of that first too These um, battery terminal ends, they are tinned already, so that helps, and that looks pretty good. So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to let that cool down a minute because I don't want this stuff starting to shrink before I get it all the way on there. So we're going to give it a second, and then I'll kick you back on. Okay, so let's see if I can just push it on this way. Yes, I can. And I'm going to bring this up. I can probably cut this in half and use it twice. I think that's what I'm going to do. Make sure I got... Oh, yeah, I can do that. about right there just enough to cover that up um, as you see in the original ones don't have that because there's nothing on top of here that's metal that can short these out but I still like to put them on there make it a little more presentable then if you want you can wire brush them off and make them look nice so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use my lighter for this because my heat gun is still packed away you can use your torch if you're real careful. I'll show you how to do that. You just... Very quick. It's 
like that. And there's what we're looking at. Just like that. Now let's go to the other end. And what I'm going to do is just kind of measure up a little bit. It's going to be in about that far, so I kind of just pushed real hard on this and it made a mark onto my rubber piece right there. Make sure you got enough enough cable before you cut the ends off. Now I cut these ends off because I already checked it and made sure I had enough cable. Because if you're running along cable, you may have to take this piece, bend them out, and bend them out, which you can see it's kind of a pain to do that. So, we're just going to, like I said, I'm just going to show you how to do one. I don't know if I'm going to get them all done today. I have another video I've got to get started on. And, um... Like I said, these cables aren't the greatest, but they'll work. If we ever have to get new batteries, then as I replace the batteries, I will put new cables on as I go. But for now, you know, I just don't, we just don't have a thousand dollars to put a set of batteries on an old golf cart that is actually just for fun, you know? Make sure that fits in there. We're going to want it like that, so it does. Now this we got to put on first. Well, no, we don't. It'll go over top of it. Never mind. If if your if your shrink wrap won't go over top of these, then you'll have to put this on way up here so it don't get hot and shrink around. But since this goes over top of this, I don't have to worry about that. I just got to make sure, like you don't want. Like I don't want to put it on like that because of this end. So you want both ends the same way. Unless you have to. You know, you might be in a position where this one has to be up higher. But normally, it's going to be like that. So I'm going to do one more. And then, and I'll save you the, because like I said, it's, it's really repetitive. That changed. Okay. It's really repetitive, and uh, I'm probably going to have to put a piece of metal down here. Let me see if I got a piece of metal. Okay, I don't have a piece of metal handy, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, this might help it. Yeah, that'll help. This is what I use to cut the wires with. Um, a good pair of these will work. These lineman pliers. A good pair of those will work. Just these are, I got a shorter pair and a longer pair. These work pretty good. So let's go ahead. Let's do number two. All right. Well, you know. There it is. Um, what you can also do, if you do have a crimper, you can solder and crimp them, which would be fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit more on this one.
that there for a second and then I'll let it cool and I'll put my heat oh yeah that's much better then I'll put my heat shrink on there got a little bit too much on that one but that's okay yes yeah, very nice so let's let it cool I'll put the heat shrink on and then I'm just gonna start making all the other ones I got two on the cart that I have to make which I'm not sure if I'm gonna I may just take them off and do it up here so that way I don't have heat around the uh, golf cart stick around and as soon as this cools we'll put this other heat shrink tube on and then that'll be one so I closed the garage door because monkey's got something in the washing machine um, so before I started the video I was getting everything set up for you guys and um, she come out and hollered at me and said she needed help hey babe her mom was feeling like she was going to pass out didn't feel real good and nauseous so we had to call an ambulance on her and uh so she's heading back out of the hospital uh monkey's waiting a few minutes because you know they gotta by the time they get her in and get her checked and everything so um, she had a doctor's appointment today which the doctor comes to the house um, the doctor was supposed to come in today and she decided well she wanted to go early I guess so um, so hopefully she'll be all right so keep your fingers crossed for her and thoughts and prayers and all that appreciate it um, so but yeah hopefully things will be all right for for her um, we're no stranger to that. I mean, they've been called here many times. Uh, but she always comes through, so... Uh, she was joking with the paramedics. She was flirting with them, <laughs> as she always does. So, hopefully she'll be alright. She may just be dehydrated. Um, we have trouble getting her to drink water. You know, you can't... Like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Kind of the same thing here. You can't make someone do something they don't want to do. But, monkey tires are really hard, you know, drink the water. So, it could be dehydration we're not sure but I'll let you I'll keep you updated on how she's doing so anyway thanks back to the video okay so monkey's just now leaving so let's go ahead and put this on here real this end on here real quick just slide it up on there about right there that's her starting the car so let's Fire this up so really fast. Remember, be careful or it'll just melt off of there. That's all there is to it. Now, I've got 14 more to go. <laughs> Uh, not actually, I've got 12 more to go. There's two ends on there I can use on that new cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new cable and I'm going to measure out. And I think I can get about three out of that. If I can get four, that would even be better. So let me get that cable off of there and get it over here. And I'll measure up and see if I got enough for three to four. I should have at least three. It's a pretty long cable. That'd be great if I could have four okay we're gonna put this on and then I'll go ahead and make up the other ones I might have enough to do all of them which would be great yeah that would be super cool if I could do all of them because I've got two more cut here that's three this is four because I'm gonna leave this end on here and then I've still got all this so I'm pretty sure I might be able to make all of them so I may have made that one for nothing but that's okay I mean I'll still use it on it but torch on here There 
we go. All right. Yeah, I'm going to leave this on because whether it's positive or negative, like on a boat or a golf cart, you know, you don't go to the frame like you do a car because of all the fiberglass and all that stuff. Now, so like when I hook the stereo up and stuff like that, I will run, you know, two wires all the way back to the battery. One will be for a negative and one will be for a positive. So that'll come in handy. I'm going to leave this end on here. This is lead, but it'll be all right. I'll leave this end on here. I may have to put a washer on that one, but that's okay. I'll clean it up and it should be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going on on this one. This one will be number three. <laughs> so, all right, guys, stick around. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how I want to run, run one of these. And then you'll get the idea on the next ones. Uh, I'm going to use washers whenever I can. I don't have enough flat washers. I do have some. I do have some um, lock washers, but I dropped my bolt bin all over the floor. So they're all up underneath the refrigerator in the uh, in the garage. So yeah, and I've got some new bolts here. Some of them are stainless. Some of them are not. And some of them are a couple different sizes. Well, half inch and nine sixteenths, but that's okay. So that's what I'm going to do to the rest of them. And uh, I'll back you up. I'll do one more. Let's see, can you guys see that? Yeah. Alright, so I'll take this one off. Let me get a couple washers. Now I'm just gonna let's see. I think this one I made longer on purpose. Yeah, let's put a shorter one on here. Like that. Then I'll hook the positive and negative up last. Okay, so let's see, there's that one. I got a wire brush here. I got a couple that need to be cleaned off real good. I'm gonna tighten these down. I'm trying to keep them away from this. See, this one touches that. So every time I take this cap off to check it, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I might be able to, let's see, I don't think it will run underneath. See, this, the, all, every one of these batteries used to have straps on them. We couldn't figure out why. Now I know why. Because when you take these off, the straps are getting away. So that's probably why he took the straps off. The monkey's still trying to figure that out. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> But um, now she now she can know. <laughs> Let's put this on here. I don't know if that'll. I don't like that. That would work, but I don't like it like that. So, all right. It just it is what it is. They're all full. And one on the other end over there is the same way. It'll be the same exact way. Okay, there. That'll work. Just got to flip this. Well, yeah, that'll work. And hopefully this will take care of our battery issues for a while. Now, tighten these ones up. This is an old wrench I got in a bunch of free tools. I just keep it in here for this reason. I'm going to 
straighten this one out a little bit. I don't like that bend in that. Yeah, we'll do that. I try to keep big cables like this as short as possible, less resistance. Especially when you're running 48 volts. Alright, now I gotta do that a few more times. About 12 more times to be exact. So let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. Alright. I'll be back with you guys. I'll show you when it's done. Okay guys, this is what I came up with. I had enough for to put all brand new cable on here, so that's good. I still have an extra one I threw up in there just in case. Blah, threw up. I gotta fix this. And then I've gotta get this mounted back up. But uh yeah, it's uh it's almost full charge. But yeah, I had enough, so it's got all brand new cables now. These mains, that one there, and that one there I double nutted so they don't come loose. So I'm getting ready to try it out here. I'm gonna unplug it. And let's see if it moves. I did shorten this, this up for my pop box. Like I said, I've got a lot of wiring cleanup to do, but that's just zip tying and stuff like that. So, all right guys, let's see if it'll move. working everything seems to be fine batteries are charged still every once in a while you hit that gas doesn't doesn't want to go forward it'll go backwards so I'm gonna I hear the brakes squealing so I'm gonna check the brakes and make sure they're not dragging if they're dragging that can cause that um, because it doesn't do it in reverse so all right guys there you go if I, I mean you know I'll just keep looking to see what the problem is that old pop box was definitely bad but we'll see um, I won't bring in for the cleanup of the wiring all I'm gonna do with that is just zip tie everything up make it look nice and neat um, the, the charger Since it's not going to bolt or hook up down to bottom anymore, I'm going to run something from that frame over to this frame. Then I can put my uh, solenoid up there where it's easier to get to instead of that's where it originally bolted on. Real hard to get to, and it's not screwed in; it's bolted in. So as you can see, how far down them holes are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to get to. And then this will just bolt up here. So, but yeah, it finally looks nice. I got to blow it off and everything. I still got to put my tie down or my holder down, my battery holders in. So I got to do these. Might bring you along for these. Put these in since that's kind of part of this. And then once I get all these wires up here zip tied. See, I zip tied these ones myself because they were all they were all messed up. Um, so I zip tied these. These are headlight wires here and turn signals. So yeah, that's uh pretty good. Zip tie them up and then I can put the hood back on or the nose clip. I gotta fix this. Gotta fix that. Uh, that's been broke for a long time. Um, the hoods over there. So all right guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it Shea bear to admit the man ledge. I'm gone for now We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye and take care